a really good week. So this week, there's a lot of sexual energy kind of flying around the place. So we figured, me, we being me and my guides, figured that we were going to do a reading more on the sexual energy between you and your person. So we've named the reading, Love, Sex or Lust, separating sex and lust with sex being the physical act and lust being um, the thought process, okay? So sex and lust kind of separated there. Now we're using the Light and Shadow Tarot. Um, you can get these now on Amazon, I wanna say. You can get them on Amazon. And they look exactly the same. One is a shadow deck, one is a light deck. Um, make your choice, deck number one, Step number two, think about you, think about your person. And as you're thinking about your person, I really want you to feel those emotions in your heart. You just got a big wad of anxiety. Whoever that was just really picked up on your anxiety. Number one and number two. Okay, so how we work is we work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So a bit like working the mass out at school when we did the average, all your energies, all your people's energies and the strongest energy we pull out. Debt number one, okay? So, love, lust, or sex? Debt number one. Think about your people for me. Can we get into their people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of number one, them, and their people. So I've got um, sexual healing coming up. So when you get that... When got that feeling, I want sexual healing. That's coming up quite strongly in my right ear. I'm also getting another one. When, uh, when, because I'm quite audience and I hear spirit, it's kind of like a radio frequency. I was, it's the best way to describe it. Like it goes through a radio dial. And the other song that's coming through is Cruel Summer uh, by Taylor Swift. And it's the, the lyrics in that, uh, devils roll the dice, angels roll their eyes. Um, that quite predominantly coming forward over here. Um, like, how's it going? What's gonna happen? The angel's are like, oh God, here we go again. Um, the other part of this is, I love you, ain't that the worst thing that you've ever heard? Because obviously your emotions are really intense and perhaps your person is freaking out a tiny, teeny bit. Okay, so let's have a look. Is it love, sex or lust between you and your person? Love, sex or lust? The energy is so high between you guys. I can really feel the connection between you both. How many do you guys want? Okay, Spirit are saying nine, three. I love this deck. The are just so cute. Four. Yeah, if you haven't heard that cool summer, it's worth going and having a, a listen to Six. I just love the lyrics of it. I haven't heard it in ages until Spirit just said it then. Seven. Eight. And one more. Ooh. Okay. I'm just going to get one. Ooh. They are really flying out for you guys. Let me just get one more. Okay. So... The majority of you guys will have had a bit of a tower moment with your person and this is why this card kind of jumped out at the top. There's been a bit of a shake up in your world with your person and you're really not sure what direction it's going in and what is happening. Um, so you're feeling a little bit battered, a little bit bruised, a little bit confused by everything. Um, and this is either something that has just happened or something that is about to happen. So if this tower hasn't appeared for you guys yet, just be prepared that it is going to be happening. Now, the reason why this tower is occurring, Spirit is saying the sexual energy between the two of you is very, very strong. There's a very strong fire energy between you both, chemistry being really intense. Now, often with that intensity of that fire energy, it can almost be like a hurricane and a tornado or a volcano kind of bubbling up and exploding spirit are showing me so you've potentially had a few arguments a little bit of conflict a little bit of um emotions kind of flying around everywhere um your person potentially has had temper tantrums spirit are saying as well so there's been a little bit of a miscommunication happening between you guys and the reason for that again is because the passion between you both is extremely strong now this tower might be a little tea tower or a big tea tower um so either something little where you've had a bit of a fallout or your person's just said something that you thought was underhanded or the big tea tower where it all went quite wrong and you're not really sure what's going on now 
now. So there is this kind of joining together. There is an energy of you both and your, your um, I just saw the the helixes, but I saw them going that way instead. Your energies are entwined with one another. This is a very strong soul connection between you both. It's likely that you guys have got past life karma as well. Um, if you need a past life reading, just give me a shout. They're on the web. Everything's on the website. You can go have a look. But there's a bit of past life karma between you guys, which means that certain situations might be rearing their head again, but in this lifetime. So the connection between the two of you, very deep, very intense, very passionate first and foremost. Now, moving on from that, the cards that you have the majority of over here are cups and wands, your emotions for each other and your sexual energy, okay? So the sex between you both is very, very strong. It's very intense. If you haven't had sex yet, be prepared for a very, very passionate sexual energy. Spirit is saying with that, there is this Kundalini that has been rising with you both. You might find that this is a more divine connection. OK, and again, with that chemistry, whether you've had sex or not, the chemistry between you both is that kind of insane that your energies are going to keep on entwining with each other. So we have nine of uh, nine of cups, ten of cups. First and foremost, let's look at these two. So your person has got these love emotions for you. You might be feeling that this isn't quite going how you anticipated it to. And you're thinking, oh, you know what? Should I walk away? Should I have done? But you're still kind of holding fire, waiting for see, see where things go, really going with the flow of it. Your emotions are a little bit unsettled for each other at the moment, but they are there. OK, so there is a love based energy happening between you both. With the Ten of Cups as well, this is talking about a completion of a cycle, beginning of a new one and it is love orientated and it's a really positive card okay so where this tower has hit or about to hit you guys um it's short-lived it's not going to last forever um and the new cycle can begin between you both based on these emotions okay so there are underlying emotions here they're seeing you in a much more stable position than perhaps you see yourself with this connection sometimes they look at your own spirit so there's a little bit of envy with this that you've worked very hard to be the person that you are today you know, you've really, you haven't had an easy life. You've expressed to them that you haven't had an easy life. You've opened up to them about it. And so sometimes they have this envy is the right word. Again, kind of devil energy coming forward with that song at the start. They have this little bit of envy towards you that you've managed to succeed of your life, that you've managed to kind of make ends meet, spirit of saying. So you're standing in a much more strong position than perhaps they've, you feel that you are. And they see that. And that envy with you comes from the fact that they haven't dealt with a lot of their, their childhood or teenage trauma or younger years trauma. They haven't dealt with it. But with you guys, you're, so, you're in a much more stable position than they are. So that little bit of envy can come forward with it. OK, so that's kind of coming up as well. Sexual energy. Let's talk about that. We have a lot, <laughs> a lot of sexual energy. We've got the eight of ones, we've got the five of ones, we've got the ace of ones. All of this kind of talking about your passion, your creativity for one another. So this relationship could be at the very early stages with this creativity coming forward. And if it isn't, there's a lot of potential here for you guys to be moving this to where you want it to go. So your ace of ones over here talking very much about the sexual energy, the passion between the two of you, the link that's holding you two together. Sometimes you might feel that if your person draws away, the sexual energy is what brings you back together. And again, that is because of the passionate side of things coming up. You've got action, you've got a lot of action and you've got a lot of movement. So with the sexual energy, your person sometimes might talk to you more about sexual stuff than emotional stuff. It's not to say that they haven't got emotions for you. They are here. But because they're seeing you in this stable position, sometimes they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to talk to you about their emotions. Because if they talk to you about feelings, they can feel vulnerable. So they step into the shadow side of things and talk more about the sexual energy between you both than the emotions that they have for you. And it's a mask. Is very much a mask. Now, the other interesting thing over here, these two cards, we've got the sun and the moon, obviously. Uh, sun standing for masculine, moon standing for feminine. Again, this duality aspect coming forward here. Your love, your lust, your light, your dark, your yin, your yang, your shadows, your light, etc, etc. Feminine, no, masculine, feminine. Okay, so your energy is very much a divine connection. And this is what brings that intensity of the chemistry forward for you both. OK, so 
their thoughts about you we have got sexual thoughts coming up here um they do think about the connection the chemistry the sex between you both quite a lot especially kind of if they're on their own um if they're on their own they it, the kind of memories or the thoughts of you and them come up to the surface so very strong sexual energy very strong lust the sex between you both is intense it's very dramatic um they are never going to have sex like they have with you of anyone else as well because again that passionate this this divine sorry this divine relationship between the two of you um is going to be creating this beautiful sexual dynamic that comes up between you both okay so again sex really coming to the forefront over here how your energies balance one another is really kind of done through the act of having sex or making love okay so sexual thoughts in the lust process yes they are there sex is massive in this relationship the chemistry is massive and there are feelings of love but these feelings of love are really kind of buried down deep and this is what this tower is potentially happening here and um, that maybe you're feeling that they're not treating you right or that they haven't got these emotions for you and that you're you might be feeling that you're kind of being led down a pathway that you shouldn't be going down um but do know that your person's emotions are here they are here um but they are just really scared of allowing them to come up to the surface and this is likely why this tower is going to happen or happened again the passionate energy between you both is that strong that hurricane that tornado can it make that explosion in the middle just got another song um i just got the video rather than the song of love the way you lie by eminem where they are um all the fires are kind of flying around everywhere that is essentially yours and your person's relationship very fire-based very sexual very passionate energy between you both and that interlinking of your energy is coming forward here so their emotions and their, their sexual thoughts are very very strong then very let me just see if we get two more about their emotions for you um their love for you because we do know that they have that love there yeah so the first card that kind of jumped up to just kind of clarify that is strength and then we've got the five of pentacles as well so your person's love um they're scared of having to be alone they're scared of loving someone and you not when you got to to know them for the real them like not that you don't you see through all their shadows and this mask that they're wearing but they worry that if you got to know the real them that you wouldn't actually like them and if they fall in love with you and they push you um if they push you away now it stops this pain and this heartbreak and this is why strength is coming up as well so very much a vulnerability coming up on their part which is why their emotions are buried down deep a little bit of self-preservation spirit are saying Okay, so there are there are love feelings here. Um, they have developed, you know, if you're thinking, oh God, I don't know, he hasn't said anything, I don't know. The uh, emotions are there and the emotions have developed. The old person just likes to bury them a little bit below surface level and will act on the sexual energy because it's easier for them because it doesn't give them that vulnerability of the emotions. Sex doesn't make your person feel vulnerable. They really, really enjoy it. Um, or the idea of it, again, even if you haven't been intimate with one another, the idea of sex is sometimes easier than the love that you two share. But your person does have those feelings for you. Um, they're just very good at burying them. And, you know, with this tower coming up here, potentially uh, for you guys, really go with the flow of it. Like I said, it could be a little tea tower. It could be a big tea tower. But do know that there's a cycle coming to a close and the beginning of a new one that is based on emotions. So likely your person is going to start opening up to you about their feelings a bit more than sex. If you express to them what's been going on in your head, the sexual energy will still be there. That is something that is never going to fade because of the divine connection between the two of you with the sun and the moon which I the sun that's the moon oh it's in my hand with the sun and the moon the sexual and uh, the, the chemistry between the two of you very strong energy moon very much standing for this feminine energy with the moon being uh, the eclipse this week and the full moon it has been a bit of a roller coaster and the fact that the moon has gone into Gemini symbolizing the air intuition is going to be on fire at the moment so really do trust your own intuition on this trust your own guidance and um, the sun the masculine energy and um, happy outcomes things 
positively working forward, but more so this is the balancing of your energies out. Okay, so overall, love, yes, it is there. Um, it's must, it's very damn deep. Sex, overflowing and lust overflowing as well. Those lustful thoughts that they are having towards you are very, very strong. Very, very passionate connection between the both of you. Very passionate. Um, the things that you're missing on here really is the stability that comes with it. Um, and the logical side of things. Sometimes both of you don't really like to act on that logical side of things. Um, the stability is what is missing. And perhaps this is what this tower is going to indicate as well, that um, you're missing that stability. But your person does see you in a stable position. It's them that is the unstable one. Okay. And that is deck number one. Okay, guys, um, my turnaround time is down um, to 7 to 14 days for videos, uh, 24 to 48 hours. 48 hours for emails um, if you want to book in before Christmas now is a really good time to do it because I am hoping uh, England were allowed to go see our family for a few days and I haven't seen them really this year at all um, I saw them a little bit when everything lifted but other than that I've probably seen them once or twice this year so I am gonna have Christmas off Oh my God. I, I will still do email readings over Christmas. So don't worry, but I'm not going to be doing video readings. So if you need me, I uh, would advise booking in now before, um, before Christmas happens. Okay, guys, sending tons of love to you. Look after yourself and I will speak to you soon. Lots of goddess blessings coming your way. Bye guys. Okay, deck number two. So love, sex or lust. Uh, breaking up sex and lust into two separate things. Lust being the sexual thought process, uh, sex being sex. Okay, so think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? Um, I just said at the end of deck number one, my turnaround time is on seven to 14 days at the moment. Um, but I am hoping to have Christmas off. So if you want to book in, um, now is a really good time to do it because I haven't seen my family this year and I'm, I really want to go and see them seeing as England eased up the restrictions over Christmas. Bizarre, but they have, so I want to go see them. So if you want to book in before Christmas and New Year, um, please do so as soon as you can because I do really need that time off to see my family. Okay, all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of debt number two. Uh, okay, so as always, works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances. So can you tell me, is it love, sex, or lust? Love, sex, or lust, with debt number two. Woo! Might be a ringtone in that. If that's someone's ringtone. So my guide is saying we need nine cards again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. I just have that one as well. Ten. Okay. Love, sex or loss. Now then, first and foremost, there seems to be quite a lot of indecision going on with deck number two. Now this could be your person's indecision or this could be your indecision and there is pain, okay? So you guys might be going through a little bit of a rough time, a little bit of a heavy time, a little bit of a sad time. Like I said, it could be something quite small that you're feeling a bit sad, a little bit low about the situation or it could be something bigger where a situation has kicked off and it's left you feeling a little bit worse for wear. So we have this sword energy coming forward, this situational based energy. So it could be circumstances at the moment which is keeping the two of you the way you are. So it's not about the connection, it's not about the love you share, it's not about the sex or the lust you share, it is about where you both are in your lives and there feels to be a bit of a pull between you both so I've just had a clairvoyant image of a tug of war don't know if you ever played that uh, where you're on one side there on the other side and that rope is being pulled between you both so you're both kind of battling each other at the moment there's a little bit of um your person perhaps saying a few things that could 
be deemed hurtful or upset upsetting by you um they're not meaning to say the things that they are saying spirit is saying but sometimes um they just they don't think before they say things and then you perceive that in a negative light so we have this tug of war happening between the two of you first and foremost and it looks to be circumstantial okay so whatever is happening in your own little world uh, with your personal circumstances are dictating this at the moment now, if we took that out, we took that energy out, um, there is a lot of air energy here. There is a lot of intuition based energy. There's a lot of logic. Your person is probably pushing you away a little bit, acting more on the logical side of things, but they do have emotions for you. Um, it's just that they are struggling to bring those emotions up. OK, so they're potentially not talking to you about it. You might have gone through a situation where it has come to a bit of a close. There's a little bit of confusion. You're not sure what choices and decisions you need to make on this. Now, that being said, if we go with this energy and this feeling, with this heaviness, this, this sadness, this is a love based connection rather than a sexual connection. OK, so you do have sex obviously uh, you do have passion there but this is much more heavy much more sad and therefore it is based on love so your person does really love you perhaps they have decided to let you go because they want what is best for you they don't want you to be uh, don't want you to be held back by them or whatever it whatever is individually happening it is a love-based connection there's confusion there's heartbreak there's pain and there's been a bit of suffering happening between you both and from that there is this indecision going on where does it go what do we want what actually happens now okay now that being said your energies are aligned with one another and you have got the ace of cups so your energy aligning and with the ace of cups over here this energy here is short-lived okay so it's heartbreak this pain this sadness this heaviness it is short-lived um and you have got a romantic new beginning coming forward so circumstances around you will change spirit is saying the universe is um shifting things and moving things around you so that you can get to where you need to be with your person spirit also saying with that that it's not about the destination it is about the journey okay um love very very strong heart-centered in that energy between you both there is a very strong love here now you do have sex, sexual energy, you do have the lustful energy that comes with it, but the moment the lust side of things, the thought process on, on sex has kind of been put to the back burner as you're both dealing with this pain. You're both really, your person is really struggling as well, it's not just you, you're both struggling with this. Um, so it looks like choices have been made or a choice is going to be made. So you're both feeling quite stuck in the situation, quite burdened by it. It's really playing with your emotions. Again, very cup centered energy, very water energy, very emotional connection between you both playing a little bit of havoc in both of your heads. And while you're both trying to keep balanced on it and not making choices on it, you're both hoping that there is going to be a way that this relationship can um, rise from the ashes and that is essentially what is going to be happening so at the moment where all this pain is the relationship has to kind of catch fire to be burnt for to rise again and that's when we talk about the phoenix you know the phoenix i don't know harry potter you know the story of the phoenix as well um it has to catch fire to be reborn and this is where your connection is going and it is love based okay we've got a coming together as well as the ending of a cycle and a beginning of a new one You've stepped off that wheel that you guys have been involved in. I just saw the Wheel of Fortune where you've kind of been feeling like you're chasing your tail going round and round and round. You have now or are about to step off that wheel. And when you step off that wheel and you kind of have to, you go through this phoenix burning away and this indecision, there is a decision that is made. Spirit is saying through indecision, the decision will be made. OK, and that decision is going into your favour over here with the Magician and Ace of Cups. So there's a heaviness, a sadness, but there is a love based energy between you both. Very, very strong, very strong heart centered energy. It almost kind of making my eyes water the emotions that come with this relationship and the class sentiments. Those feelings of love are so deep and they are so deeply rooted. It's almost as if it's in your DNA um, that this connection is as strong as it is. And with that, because the love is so strong, so so is the pain, you know, when you love someone so intensely and so beautifully and so passionately, 
and that kind of pain comes with it sometimes when it doesn't quite work out but at the same time do know that regardless of your situations your person's emotions for you are very very real they do love you they do care for you um and they 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 could see that you guys could be happy together that you can have a future and that's what's tearing them apart a little bit at the moment you know it's tearing them apart that you guys are where you are and you're not really meeting in the middle at the moment but there is a progression route here but again like spirit said through this indecision becomes decision all this this toxicity or this negativity that's around you has to burn away because once that has burned away and the circumstances around you are changing this can progress into the your alignment with your person ace of cups of world okay so there is a sexual energy here um very much masked at the moment love is really the forefront of this love is the strong emotions that you two share and love is the passion that you have you know your passion comes from love with your person because you love them so much that passionate energy that sexual energy is so strong but the love is what is predominant with it all and with that that heaviness that sadness as well for now for now, short-lived spirit saying, for now, that heaviness, that sadness, um, but it is aligning, okay, so even in the darkest of times, we can always find the light, you know, um, and this relationship needs a little bit of light at the moment, uh, something you could do is if you just visualise you and your person, I would just surround yourselves both in a light energy bubble, or you can send them energy as well, I don't know if you know this, um, but if you rub your hands together like this, creating that energy ball between the two of you and uh, really wait until you feel that ball um whisper in it what you need to whisper i love you message me be with me blow it send it up or send it up like that um if you need more details on it have a google energy balls and people will explain it all to you and uh, we don't have the time to sit here and me talk to you about it but if you want to communicate with them in an energetic level that will be a really good thing for you to do but please keep your thoughts of love and of light don't send anything nasty um love emotions person really kind of acting on logic at the moment potentially cut you out but it will come back around it will come back around um and the love please remember that love is really really strong between you both really deeply rooted and there is a heaviness with that but it will be short-lived okay not gonna last forever all right beauties uh that is that number two like i said if you need me drop me a message i will speak to you all soon have a really good blessed week my angels um love you all tons blessings